In the last video, I have created a form and in this video, I am going to submit the data of this form to the backend. So let's see how we can do that. So for that, first of all, we will move to the web.php and here I will create a new route and that route will be waiting for some data to be sent by the form. So let's see how we are going to do that. So first of all, we will create a route and that route will be having a post method and the endpoint is slash create and it is going to call the method store of product controller that's it so whenever you send a post request to the slash create it will call the store method and also we are going to name this route and whenever you are naming any route it is going to help you a lot in writing or building the ui or referring to that route so i just want to refer that route which i just defined there so for that i will call use this route a method and I will pass the name of the route and this will uh, return the corresponding endpoints so this is cool and this is very useful when you are working on a big project so now if I click on the save it is going to submit the form uh, but when you are submitting it is saying page expired so it's totally fine whenever you send any mm, form without CSRF token in the Laravel uh, it will not work it will say page expired it's, it's fine so let's try again so now it is saying store page so why this is saying it because the store method is returning store page as the data so now we are sending a uh, actioning to this url uh, with the method post and we are having a csrf token so let me show you what is the use or how the csrf uh, directive work so when you will go to the inspect you can see there is a input type hidden and the token so and in the action you can see that there is a url and how all this is happening the action url is happening because of this one the the hidden to hidden is or the token is coming because of this csrf so i hope you got the idea about both the things in the next video i will talk about how you can store the data in database thank you